A question that I've been thinking about for some time now and something that comes up in conversation with single people a lot is should I get married? Now, the simple answer to that question is it depends. It depends on who you are. It depends on what your situation is. And it probably depends on the timing of the question. But before I actually answer the question of should I get married? Let's back up a little bit and try to understand what people mean when they ask this question. When someone asks you, should I do this or should I do that? There is an underlying presumption there where they think they're expected to do something and they want to explore what the consequences of doing it or not doing it is. And so... They're asking that question from the perspective of it has to be done, but chances are I may or may not do it. What's going to happen? You shouldn't have to do anything. We are all privileged enough to make our own choices and live based on our choices. So nobody is really forcing anybody to make this decision. And when I say this, of course, I'm talking about a section of the society that is educated and has agency to make their own decisions because I understand that even today marriages are forced in a lot of cases especially in more conservative setups or in rural areas but I'm assuming if you're on YouTube watching this particular video you have some level of agency to make your own choices in life to a large extent, or at least convince your family to make your own choices. Now, marriage, um, largely, a few hundred years ago, used to be a purely financial transaction that was reserved for the upper classes, where these marriages happened between royal families where they were trying to protect wealth and assets within um, known sort of networks so that they could increase their power within a region or you know have allies that would support them in order to grow their empire grow their sort of uh, dynasty it is only in the last couple of hundred years that marriage is accessible for even common people like you and me where you know everyone irrespective of the class is getting married of course there is also a section of the society that is um, not very well off and you know in families where they have a lot of um, daughters and they're not educated and not allowed to have jobs after a certain point it becomes unsustainable for that family to care for these daughters and then they're sort of bound off to um, people as wives so that somebody else can financially take care of them right now today i'm not talking about either ends of the spectrum where marriage is purely a financial decision even today i'm talking about the sort of large section of the society which is urban semi-urban aspiring to be urban where people are educated and have the ability to work and have jobs any kind of job really and have some sort of agency to decide whether they should get married or not maybe a few years ago nobody really asked this question of should i get married people just got married when they thought it was the right age to or when their parents asked them to or when their families came together and decided that it was time to have them married. But today people are asking that question and I think it is great that people are asking this question because it is such an important question. Imagine if you had to make a decision, any sort of decision, where you would have to live the consequences of that decision every single day for the rest of your life. Marriage is a decision exactly like that. You are saying, hey, I am choosing to be with such and such a person because I think I can build a life along with this person and we can do everything together 
to whatever capacity we are going to align um for the rest of our lives on all our micro and macro decisions in our life as a family unit right that is a huge huge decision getting married essentially is not about finding a partner uh, uh, that you wed on a certain day and you know it's not about the wedding it's about the life that you will lead from that point on for the rest of your life here i'm not talking about short lived marriages where you know you get divorced in a couple of years because nobody gets married saying hey this is going to last two years so you know how do i make this decision you don't think about it like leasing a house for a couple of years right it is a decision that will have a much longer impact on your life than anything else that you ever do finding a job studying something or you know moving elsewhere etc then right? it's a it's a huge decision now for such a big decision do you think you are going to be able to successfully make this decision and respect your choice for the rest of your life if someone else were to give you the answer to this question whether it's me or your parents or your friends or the society at large do you think they're going to be able to answer this question for you of course not of course not you have to make that decision now once you're convinced that you are the one who has to make this decision we can talk about a few different aspects of life over a longish period of time that will get impacted by this decision some of them are career money or lifestyle how you choose to live family whether you want to have a family or not and what the size of the family would be and how you would like to have social ties with your existing family and so on there is a social life aspect of you know be it with friends or anybody else that you know how you would like to live your life there is how you would like to make your daily decisions about micro and macro things how you would like to communicate with the people around you who you're living with in your house in order to make decisions so that would be communication and conflict resolution styles there are even smaller things or maybe for some people this is bigger right um vacations where you'd like to live where you'd like to settle so these are some of the important aspects of life that will get impacted to varying degrees because of marriage depending on who you are depending on what your situation is and depending on how do people come together marriage isn't for everyone and no matter what the society around you is saying you are free to make this choice and if you do have the agency to make your own choices in life in general marriage should definitely be one of them right because it is a lifelong commitment at least when you get started irrespective of what the outcome is and in order to make a lifelong commitment you have to be 100% certain of your choice now when i say 100% certain of your choice i'm obviously overestimating here because nobody is ever 100% certain of this choice because it is a sort of calculated risk you are taking for the rest of your life so there is going to be a lot of times in the future where you will question this decision however what i'm saying is you can actually be more certain than less if you actually put some thought into this decision i know this is a very sort of heavy topic and we would have to evaluate every single aspect of life that will get impacted by marriage and maybe in the future i will make videos where we talk about how marriage can impact career or how marriage can impact our lifestyle or you know our communication way of living etc but for now if you are actually asking yourself this question of should i get married or do i want to get married let me just say congratulations you're on the right track because 
this is a super important decision and the fact that you've realized that this is an important decision itself sets you apart from so many other people who end up getting married just because they think they're supposed to get married and i am as guilty as anybody else because i got married when i was 23 and i didn't know shit about marriage but now having been married for 11 years myself i can tell you that with the benefit of hindsight there were so many things that i could have thought about had i had guidance from people about the different aspects of marriage that i should have considered while making this decision now i don't regret having made this decision but this may not be the case for everyone right so if you are looking at this decision in front of you then you can actually um uh, enjoy the benefit of guidance that you can get from people like me and so many other friends of yours who have been married for a while so stay tuned we will do more videos on this topic over the following weeks or months